everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, it is almost Halloween starting in October. It'll be like spooky month basically. So I wanted to decorate Nugget and the mouse cage for Halloween. I did it last year and I thought it looked so cute. So we're gonna do it again. I have a ton of decorations for them and I have Halloween bedding. So that's what we're gonna do. This is Nugget's cage. It's kind of plain right now but we're gonna make it so fun and like spooky and then I'll show you the mouse cage as well. The mouse cage is pretty messy because they like to bury everything, but um, yeah, so that's why I don't usually decorate the mouse cage because they don't keep anything organized, so hopefully they will keep it a little bit, bit nice. So yeah, we are going to do the cages. Basically I have to clean all the bedding out and take all the toys out and stuff from both the cages and that's gonna take a while because I don't usually clean both of the cages at the same time because it takes so long. So I think I'm gonna start with the mouse cage because it usually takes longer. I just wanna show you guys how I clean my mouse cage. So this is a 40 gallon tank which is really big and it's so heavy we can't move it so it's like always here. But Nugget's cage is smaller so I can carry it and I bring it downstairs to change the bedding which is a lot easier. But for their cage, I take everything out, so that's all on my floor right now. And then I take this scooper and I put all the bedding into this trash can. I actually have to use two trash bags, so I fill this one up and then I throw that one away and get a whole new one because they have so much bedding. And so the mice are still in there and they stay in there until I need to scoop them all out. Like I let them stay in there while I scoop all the things out so they can be comfortable and then when I need to clean it out more, I'll take them out and put them usually in the bathtub or just in a different area while I can clean it out. Okay, so now you can see pretty much all the bedding is out. The girls are like running around in there. Hi guys. Hi Butter Baby. Oh, Hi Petunia. Oh, <laughs> Buttercup wants to crawl on my hand. Hi Peanut. <laughs> yeah, so they're all running around. I'm gonna take them out and then what I do is we have, I'll show you, we have this hose vacuum and it plugs into the wall over there and then I use this to suction out the extra bedding but obviously I take the mice out and it cleans everything perfectly. So the All Things Living paper bedding is what I like to use for my pets and you can find this at Petco and so I have two different colors here because this is like the fall bedding they have but I'm not a huge fan of it so I'm gonna mix it with white to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, pleasing. It just doesn't look so good to me. I don't know, so I think mixed with white it'll look really good. So we're using both of these for Nugget and the mice. I hope I have enough. Um, I think I should, and if not, I can just go back and get more. But yeah, so that is the plan. There is 71.6 liters of this and 55.7 liters of this. So I'm hoping to do like half of this for each of them and then like half of this for each of them. I don't know. I don't know how much I usually give them, but this expands so much, so it might not look like a ton, but it expands so much. Yeah, this is the bedding that I use. So now they have their bedding. I put more white than the colored because like I said, I don't really like the color that much and definitely mixed with this white, it looks a lot better. And so I mixed it well in there and it looks really good. So now we get to put in the fun decorations and I'm gonna show you all of the cute like Halloween decorations I have picked out for the cages. First of all, some of these are left over from Nugget's cage last year. Um, so she had these window clings stuck onto her cage and I plan on using these again. I might get some more because there's not that many here, but they're really cute. And I just put them in this plastic bag to save them. Hopefully they'll work again. I think they will. So those were left over. We got these at Target. They were $3, they're little wooden houses. They have a whole bunch of different styles and they're really cute. So this one says Haunted House and this one says Enter If You Dare. And they're just super adorable and I thought they'd make the perfect little hideouts for the animals. Like I said, they're wooden so they're pet safe and they're really cute. So I wanna put this one in Nugget's cage and this one in the mouse cage. Then we have these little ceramic little candy bowls. People like put candy in there and then you can like take it from it like a little candy bowl. This one is a bat and this one is a pumpkin. I had this one from Nugget for last year and this one I got from Target this year and they're both also $3. So all this stuff is in like the Bullseye's Playground like $5 and under section or like around that. So they're really great. So this one again is gonna be for Nugget and this one for the mice. And I was thinking about getting another one of these for the mice just because there are three of them so I thought maybe they'd have one more hideout and I just love these. <laughs> but there are other um, 
shapes of these two, so maybe I'll get them another one of those, I don't know. And then nugget left over from last year, she had this light up pumpkin with the ladder N. I probably won't get these for the mice since they're just kind of decorative pieces and I might not even put this in Nugget's cage. She has this cute little cauldron that I put Nugget's food in last year and I have more of these that I can use for the mice as well and I just think it's a really cute way to put their food out. Um, another thing we got from Target this year is these cute little wooden decorations. They're supposed to be like scenes that you put on your fireplace. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones. We just picked this set that had trick-or-treaters because I thought it was really cute and they are wooden so again they're pet friendly. Um, but there's a bunch of just like cute little wooden characters that we could put as decorations. There's a ghost and a cat, um, a girl wearing a cat costume, a boy wearing a skeleton costume, a girl wearing a witch costume, and a boy wearing a pumpkin costume. So I was gonna put three of these in each of the cages. And then I also have all these little ghosts. If you remember from last year, I hung them from the top of Nugget's cage. I don't think I'll be able to reuse them because I feel like the strings are too short, but they were really cute when I used them last year and I might reutilize them for Nugget, but probably not for the mice because I think they'd try and climb on them, which isn't good. And then we had this from last year. Um, it was a little wooden thing that I colored. I had in Nugget's cage, but I don't think I'm going to use it again because again, it's just like a random little decorative piece. Yeah, so that's what I have, and then obviously I'll put in some of their regular things, like their wheels they need, and like some of their favorite toys I think I'll put back in, but I really love all the fun little decorations, and I probably will get more of them, because I really like them, I think it makes the cage so much, like so fun and adorable. All right, here's the mouse cage set up, and I think I might want to put some more things in. Like I said, I think I might want to get more of those for them, but I put their food, one of them in the pumpkin trick-or-treat, and one of them in the cauldron. They have their two wheels, they have that little hideout, then they usually stand on this to get to the water and then they also can crawl underneath it. They have their haunted house, the little bat, uh, they like this little crawly bridge and they love that hut so I kept those things. And then I put the little random trick or treaters in there and I gave them fresh food, fresh water. And yeah, so now I'm going to put them in. And also the top of their cage has their little bridge. Alright, I'm about to put the mice in. Look who wants to go inside. Ooh, alright, here comes Buttercup. Baby. Ooh, look at that. Let's see. Petunia. Alright, here comes Petunia. Here you go. And Peanut. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you gonna blend in with all this orange? There you go. Oh. <laughs> look at them all enjoying it. Let's see. Oh, do you like that? What is that, Peanut? What is that? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, Petunia, you're gonna go inside? I want one of them to go into the haunted house. Go in there, Buttercup. Ooh, are you going trick-or-treating? <laughs> go inside, go inside. Please go inside. Please go inside. Go inside, go inside. Yes. <laughs> oh, they are so cute. Go inside there, Petunia. <laughs> Good girl, oh, you are so cute. Somebody go in here. Look at this. This one's a house. Go in there. <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, do you like that? Petunia's being adventurous. Oh, they love to run on the wheel together. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. She just wants to climb to the top of it. <laughs> oh, were you just in there? I missed it. I <laughs> must see the door. They like these, huh? I might have to get more of those, huh? You guys like them? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna get them some more hideouts so they'll have more fun places to hang out. Oh, you guys are eating from the little trick-or-treat basket? Aww. <laughs> Petunia likes that. You are so cute. I want them to realize that they can go inside. <laughs> they love the little trick-or-treat basket, huh? Go inside that house! Oh my gosh. Look, Buttercup, look. There's a little, there's a little door. Look, there's a door. <laughs> there's a door. Go in the door. No, go in, go in the door. Oh, she wants to climb on the bridge. Here, let me close the roof. Let me close the top of the cage and you can climb on it. <laughs> That's what Buttercup wanted. Oh, Peanut, you're gonna climb too? Hi, girls. Hi. Yeah, they love this, so I keep the bridge on there for them to climb on. Oh, you guys are so cute. It looks like they love their cage. And yeah, so I think I'll probably go back to Target a little bit later and 
pick up some more of those things because they really seem to like them. They don't really understand that one, so I'll probably just get another one of those. Yeah, they're not really under they're not really getting it. They don't understand that they can go inside. Peanut, go inside. You're the smallest one you'd fit. <laughs> They'll probably like pop up underneath eventually, but I'd love for them to go through the little door. That would be so cute. Please, Peanut, figure it out. Oh, it's cute seeing them eat from the like, trick-or-treat basket. Oh, you guys are so cute. I was worried they wouldn't like get inside of it, but they figured it out pretty quickly. Right? Yeah. Oh, you guys are so cute. So for anyone who doesn't know, they're all girls. The white one is Petunia. That little um, caramel colored one, where'd she go? Well, she's hiding back there, but that's Peanut. And then the black one is Petunia. Uh, Buttercup, sorry. <laughs> I just saw Petunia and that's why I thought of her. Oh, she's in there, I see her tail. She's hiding inside that. <laughs> oh, are you exploring the trick-or-treater? I guess she's a chew toy now. Sorry. Oh, are you on the roof? Look at you climbing, little girl. They're so cute, you guys. Okay, and now I have to do oh, basically the same thing to Nugget's Cage. They are so cute. I need to take pictures for their Instagram. This is so cute. Follow their Instagram, guys. I'll put it on the screen. It's like Nugget and Pals. So cute. Oh my god, Petunia, go in. Yes, yes, go in, go in. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so exciting. <laughs> All right, so here's Nugget's cage. I have the little ceramic thing there, the random little guys randomly in there. And then we have her wheel, her food is in the pumpkin trick-or-treat bag, and then the enter if you dare. So I'm gonna go grab her and put her in here. All right, here comes Nugget. Here she goes, here we go, Nugget. Oh. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, wait. Hi, Nugget. Hey, what do you see? some food. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I like this cat. I put it right there. Nugget, go in your little house. Go in your little house right here. Enter if you dare. Oh, she's gonna go underneath to get in it, huh? Go right here. Look, there's a door. Look. Oh, right there. Look. Hi. <laughs> Good girl, Nugget. Oh, I have to get pictures of her. I just had to show you the mice are all still like hanging out. They are so adorable. I think they're loving the new cage or the new decorations. Oh, they knocked over one of the trick or treat kids. Oh, both of them. That's okay. <gasps> Buttercup, you are so cute. Hi, baby. Inside the little, the little bat. <gasps> Hi, Peanut. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, Petunia. Oh, they are adorable. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, my camera's not focusing, huh? So sweet. Hi, baby peanut. <laughs> oh, so cute. I know you guys love like mouse content, so, and nugget content. So here are their cages. I think they turned out adorable. Like I said, I'll probably get a couple more things to put in here for them to have a little bit more interaction. And I think even for nugget too, because hers, it is, kind of bare also, so maybe I'll get her some more little huts and such. So she doesn't really care too much for them. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are so funny, Nugget. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments let us know which one you like better. Nugget's cage or the mouse cage. And we'll see you guys later. <laughs> bye! Can girls say bye? Oh, they're so cute. Alright, bye. <laughs>